What's up everybody? I am that role playing ginger and we are back with more Tears of the Kingdom. I just found out there are pirates on the game and I hope it better be a homage to Wind Waker's pirates in there. There has to be. They can't do that. They can't put pirates in a Zelda game without it being somewhat of a homage to the Wind Waker pirates. So I gotta go down there when I can and like check it out. I don't know how it's going down there now. I hope I can return one day, but for now just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Yeah, buy my stuff, because I got no money. Uh, bomb flowers are ten? Nice. If I find a good spot to hold those, what is this? It's two rubies. So I don't have any need for the rubies just yet. I believe... I don't know what the upgrading system is like in this one, but in the first one, rubies were like almost final tier upgrades for some things, or basic upgrades for like the ruby earrings or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually sell these two right now. I'm going to sell both of these because I need to get some starting cash. Uh? I can always find more. I got really good at grinding for things like that in Breath of the Wild. I can do it again here. I thought I had... Yep, I got some amber, but amber's only ten. Amber is the color of the energy. Got some opals, but they are opals. They are not that expensive. Okay, 220 right now. I'll go ahead and sell the opals. And then I'll go ahead and sell all of these. That way I can at least get some starting cash. Because I want some I want I want these clothes. I collect all the clothes in Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and then this one. So this is 130. 70, so I want the hood. I think I can afford all of them. I'll go ahead and get that. And then I'll go ahead and buy this. That way, because I want all of them. I want every single one of the outfits. I need them. I need them! Alright, so now I'm going to wear this and this. I actually like this. Yeah, I like, I like this look. This is a cool look for right now. Very nice, very wonderful. Link! Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I've been in charge with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about this place, any at all, come right to me. I will answer as best as I can. Now please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Okay. Oh, I actually have a phone call right now. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had a call from my dad. He's out of the house this weekend. We just wanted to check in on the dog. The moment she heard his voice, though, she came a running into here like, Where's he at? It's like, he's up in Oregon right now. It's fine. I was wondering about this because I've seen people like go down this hole and it was closed. So I was like, maybe it was open only open at night, but I guess I had to talk to him. So underground, Vali used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Very nice. I'll take all the equipment, thank you very much. Uh, you got any armors that I can steal from you? I mean, borrow? Never give back? You guys ain't got shit! How the cooking? Ooh, a quest. Bermano. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. You can say- I could say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, that's really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. If I don't have any my, my most important ingredients, say goodbye to the rich, full flavor. <gasps> my nose is detecting an aroma! A sweet, tang, tan, tangy, tangy, I almost said tangy. Tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Yeah, sure. Yeah, like a whole bunch of them. You know, they grow on trees, right? Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you the first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Ah, oh, there's no humming. I'm calling it Bermano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Sure. I like to make a big deal out of it, but 
Anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Cool. Finished the quest already. We're already on our way to quest completions. Look at all this dust. Well, yeah, you're not, it's not nowhere to go. You realize that dust needs to go somewhere, right? Where's it gonna go? Down there? There's drinking water, most likely. Alright. Took care of all of that. Let's go check up here. Is this a quest board? No, not a quest board. What about you? You got something to say? Ha! It's not ha, it's ha! Hi, Pierre. If I put this here, then this goes here. No, no, that's not quite right. That should do it. Hi. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. This bug will not leave me alone. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey. What's my part? We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey. Oh, she's using guardian technology. Still. Oh. Fired a rocket? What the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna have to climb all of these, I imagine. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold the Pura Pad over that terminal. Alright. And now it's a teleport zone. Awesome. I dig it. Now the whole thing's blue and abadi abadi. Cool. Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Purapad. Impressive, right? Ah. But Skyview Towers are about more than just time, just traveling quickly. I almost had the bug. I almost had it, and then it fluttered away. The primary function of the survey on the uh, to survey the area, or simply put. To make a map, the PuraPad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test ah. scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. She got heels. Yeah. They're multiplying. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has, re what has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Okay, well, I'll just stand on this, right? And then... Oh. Oh my goodness. Pira, Pira, I did not say this was okay. You didn't even ask. Okay, okay, okay. Not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Uh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is very Skyward Swordy, and I'm, I'm happy about the whole thing.
Lookout landing. We got one section of the map. Perfect. Oh, and Great Sky Island's right above us. Sky map updated. Yeah, this is this is very Skyward Sword reminiscing. Go ahead and just Oh nope, not that. That's what I wanted to do. Perfect! That is exactly what I wanted to do. Ugh! That that gave me the flashbacks to that very first part in Skyward Sword, where you have to land on the, you have to pull out the, par the parachute at the last second. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. Well, I didn't actually even really glide that much. How did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview towers in every region of the world. You just want to make a point of visiting them all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Hey, you made my switch? The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's a Laneru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Strangely enough, the only other four big civilizations in Hyrule. I can't say for certain, but... I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. <laughs> hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was, so it was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. <laughs> that is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth, something, it's worth looking into. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what happened to, you, to the princess. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda, one way or another. I gotta find goggles! Wait, wait, I'll help you find goggles. Oh. Sorry, can't talk now. There's gotta be... There's something I gotta discuss with goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Okay, I guess... No quest? You had a quest thing, so... What Whatevs. Is this... Is this goggles that guy? Is that goggles? She's gonna go talk to Goggles. Come on, please! Oh, ah, what a pleasant evening. Hey, you, is it true that you got the Pura Pad? <laughs> Pura and I worked together on the design, and I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie Pad, allegedly speaking. <laughs> Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do it. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are in the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they are, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! <laughs> but I need more than that figure. I need, I need more on that figure? If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Well, that figure. <laughs> oh, swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. I know, I, we already met. Why are you introducing her again? Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey to the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh. Ooh, hieroglyphs. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. 
I think it could be evidence that, mysterious, that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. They're probably monsters. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Mm. Josha, come on now. I'll tell you what. I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. Ah. And Link will join me. Uh, what? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on that slate. Assuming that we find what we're looking for, we'll use your PurePad's camera to take a picture for it. A perfect plan. You don't know about the camera? It's one of the PurePad's basic features. Well, I know about it, but it's gone for some reason. With the camera, you can capture nearly... You can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored on your iPad there. <laughs> iPad. Sounds like you and you still have more to learn about the PurePad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on! And he's gone. And he's gone. Looks like he's gone. Sorry you got roped into all of this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, some bright blooms. Nice, thank you. Oh, and take this too. Oh, hell yeah. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay. If you'll, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's southern gate, you'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about your how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look out after, look after goggles for me. Sure, sure thing. So I got a new camera, right? No, I haven't gotten the camera yet. Josh's profile has been updated. Nice. Love it. Is that a well? Can I go down the well? Korok? Frog! <laughs> bright blooms, bright blooms. There's gotta be something here. Oh, uh, I need a, I need that rock, actually. Um, I will attach the rock to the rusty broadsword. Clicking a jump button by accident. What secrets lie here? Ooh, a treasure chest. And some bright blooms. More bright blooms. So I think I know where to farm these things. A royal claymore? Oh, it's been rusted the craziness, though, but that's still more powerful than what I got. That's awesome. Immediately already a little secret zone. Um, can I then... Yeah, I can. Don't even need to climb back up. I am Link, swimmer through reality. Ah, I love it. I'm having the time of my life playing this game. I got to enjoying Breath of the Wild after a while, but this really, this like got me immediately. Like I don't know, it's probably it's probably got something to do with the fact that I did eventually start getting into Breath of the Wild a lot, but it took me longer than this game took uh, for me to get to that point. This game, there's a lot going on in here that I'm just absolutely adoring. First things first, though. Epona! Whee! Me and you! You and me, we're gonna go find a stable so we can be best friends forever. Oh, 
Oh, that's a little bunny. My buddy was telling me that they lead to caves in this game. Oh, crap. I see the cave. I didn't need to fall off the horse to see this cave. It's, it's pretty obvious. It's also pretty obvious there's going to be something evil inside of here. Oh, what the fuck are you? Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> I don't know how deadly these things are. Okay, clearly not deadly much at all. But they scared me, so I bombed them. They look like they look like giant Morlocks. Horriblins. Oh no, I don't like that. Rusty Halberd. Is something else still out here trying to get me? Because it probably is. Oh god! Oh god, no! Not again! Well, at least things aren't hurting as badly. Twenty! Alright, so I'm gonna take the soldier spear. I'm gonna attach this cobblin arm to it. Now it's a 24 damage weapon. Traveler's sword. <laughs> this thing's cool. I like this. Zonites. <laughs> Got a long stick. I can't attach this really long halberd to it. I have to rock it though. Like, is that already an, an elongated weapon? Let's see, I'll get rid of this. Rusty Halberd Spear. Okay, so yeah, it's a spear with a Rusty Halberd on it. Nice, so we enemies have fused weapons as well? That's really cool. I dig that. I want to be able to zoom out. Because this is way too zoomed in. Give me some arrows. Give me this treasure chest. There are all sorts of goodies in this cave. A spiky Spear. Um, what's the one I'm using? Yeah, I'll go ahead and drop this. Whoa. There we go. Spiky spear! Climb up here. Ooh, hello, friend. Sticky lizard! Yeah, flathead! This place has a lot of goodies in it, and an extra secret zone. This is the first cave I'm in, and I'm already just getting things every everywhere. I am okay with this. I see you. back into the guy and get myself a goodie. Flint. I wonder if I put flint on a weapon. Ooh, hardy shuffle. I wonder if I put attach flint to a weapon if everything it strikes that's like metal will catch fire or like cause fire. That would be a really cool thing. Why is there a house? Oh, it's a cave, and it's got a check mark, which probably means that like cl I've cleared it. That's cool. It gives you a heads up if you've already been into a place. Amber. There are so many quality of life improvements in this game. It's ridiculous. 
No game's got this much right. Okay, I wanted to make sure that that wasn't a pile of stuff I can get rid of. Epona, I love you! I got stuff for you, actually. Are you ready? I'm gonna give Epona... ...an apple. Good girl. Love you, too. Let's try and find us as a shrine over there. Let's try and find us a, uh, tavern. Moblins. I see that shrine. How do I get... Do I have to, like... Because I thought I was clicking on it. Delete. Oh, keys. Where's that other shrine I saw? There it is. I need to mark those because I need to go to those. Oh, there's something big over there. I can see it. My main goal right now is to find a stable and save this Epona. There are shrines all over. I can see them easily in the dark because of those swirlies. More sleepy moblins. Got some person. Oh, I heard about these. These are um these are these are challenges, little like Lego challenges. He needs to hold the sign up. Ah! Whoa, darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? Wait, you know that's not, not the actual guy, right? Like, do we have to have a severe talk? Because that's not actually the guy. That's that's a that's a piece of wood. <sighs> all right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault, startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Aww. Unforgivable. <laughs> Haven't you heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one who appointed by the princess herself. Okay, cool. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's a shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of the Hudson Com Construction. And besides all of that... Uh, yeah, what is all this? Hey, I'm in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing here before? Um, t t I, I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. I asked to put these signs up all over the place and let everyone know what, that Hudson Construction's a big deal. Okay, so yeah, I just gotta... Gotta be able to not have those fall over. Alright, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna build something, and maybe it'll help. Okay? So it's got one post right now. Oh, nope, I need my hand. These two things are already attached. That's not big enough, though. No, I didn't want... I didn't want that. Now let's tear this apart. There we go. The other pieces are over here. Alright. Let's see if we can't do this. We'll do one of those. with one of these about here-ish, I guess. Let's see where we're at on this. Alright, see if this works. It probably won't. Try letting go. Look at that! Look at that! I did it first try! How's the president standing? 
That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Hell yeah, I got that on the first try. I feel good about myself now. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is standing proudly and firmly in place. Fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this. Oh, I get little monies for this. Awesome. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work. Let me give you a little something I made myself. Ooh. Oh, these are these are worth it then. And a bomb flower? Hell yeah. I'm gonna help this guy out everywhere I go. I'm gonna build something along like along the lines of this every single time. Oh, that was cool. That was awesome. Let's go, Epona. We gotta find places. Epona. Please, please, Epona. Thank you. Alright. Uh, let's look out landing. What is that? Oh, it's a chasm. That'll get me my camera. And that's a well. The well doesn't have a check mark next to it. That's odd. So I want to go around this place. I don't see anything on here that might be a stable, so I don't know if I'm going to find anything. Got ranch ruins. So usually you can tell on the map. Like there might be, there are some buildings over here, obviously. But we need to go right. Because I want to stable this horse. Oh, I can't loot things while I'm on the horse. Wait, that's a shrine right there. That's the shrine I marked, so I want to get that. So that should be, like, right here. Uh, it's down this way. There's a well. I know, Epona. I, I know, Epona. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> I thought that was going to be bad. The horse, the, the horse steering is still not the best in this game. It wasn't in Breath of the Wild. It's still not good here. The steering Epona was way... It gets surprising to me. Because steering Epona was so easy in Twilight Princess. It was so easy. And you could easily become a horseback archery master in that game. And then this one is just, it's its temperamental, it's annoying. <laughs> they go flying off on another direction for no reason sometimes. And I've done everything in Breath of the Wild to, like, get the most temperamental horse ever, but it'll still sometimes just fly away. Alright, so I'm gonna pull her over right... Oh my god, that tree is alive! What the hell? Oh, that's terrifying, I don't like it. I don't like you at all. So I'm going to, uh... Do I have any fire? I do. I'm gonna light you on fire. Because you are terrifying. You were like those trees in Wizard of Oz. It looks like you might only be able to be hit by fire. I have a fire weapon, I think, right? No, I want... Pull out your weapon, Link. Yeah, I have a flame emitter club. I did it! I killed a tree! Did it, like... Did it drop anything, or...? It dropped an acorn. And a frond, maybe? Okay. Not really worth it. Are you alive? No? Okay. 
There's a well right here, so let's see. Oh my god! 